like I lost a part of my life, and then the other day that I got the call that he was still alive. Mike Plass never gave up hope that he would find his dog Jack, even after he was missing for four years. Mike lived out of city limits in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Jack had a perimeter collar, allowing him the freedom to play outside. When the batteries died in the collar, Jack ventured off for what ended up being four years, but Mike never stopped searching. I made posts and uh, made posters and put them up and uh, walked up and down the highway, walked up and down the river, went across the highway, walked all in the bush and I couldn't find them. Jack somehow ended up a province away and was brought to Centennial Animal Hospital here in Winnipeg. Thanks to Jack being a licensed dog with a microchip, this moment was able to happen. It felt kind of like a dream, I guess. Like it wasn't real, and then, but then at the same time, it felt like we, had, we haven't been apart. I don't know, it was, it was quite wonderful. We found out how to get a hold of me was through that microchip, so I... I am very happy that he was uh, microchipped when I got him from the uh, Humane Society. So if you do have a dog and, uh, you know, it is that important to you, it, I know it, it doesn't cost that much to do. Even if it did cost you a few hundred dollars, it, it's worth it. We were able to scan the microchip. The microchip had the information that we needed and the reunion happened, so it's fantastic. The Humane Society says they strongly encourage microchipping. Your info becomes part of an international database and helps vets and humane societies return animals to the rightful owners. At $30, it's fast, inexpensive, and has a lower fail rate than an ear tattoo. Reunions happen in the Winnipeg Humane Society every day. Microchipping is absolutely the way to go. It's the size of a rice um, curl, like a little tiny thing that goes in the shoulder blade of the of the animal. Uh, it's not painful. Uh, it may swell for one day or two, and is the most safe way of permanently identifying the uh, the animal. According to the Humane Society, only 20% of dogs that are adopted get chipped. The fine from the City of Winnipeg for not licensing your dog is $250. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.